story time about when my mom caught me doing it with my best friend. I was 16 at the time and there was this new boy that moved in across the street from us. He was super cute and I noticed him right away. My parents were super strict. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend or even any guy friends and I knew right away that I wanted to at least become this guy's friend because he was so cute. So one day I told my mom, hey, why don't we take cookies or something to um, welcome the new neighbors in town? And my mom was like, that's a great idea. So we end up going over and we meet them, they're really nice, and the cute boy comes downstairs and he tells his mom he's gonna go to Bible study. Well, when we get home, I tell my mom, hey, you know what, maybe I should join a Bible study group too. And my mom was like, great idea. She even told me to go ask him about it since he had mentioned it. One day he's mowing the lawn, so I decided to go talk to him and ask him about the Bible study group. He actually ended up taking me there that same day and we had a fun class. Over the next few weeks, we became really, really part two. So my neighbor, I'll call him Curtis, we're really good friends at this point, but we were always attracted to each other, but because we were in Bible study together and our parents were very religious, we kind of tried to stay away from any Anything. One day we're in my house chilling in my room because I knew my mom wouldn't be home for a while So I told him to just come upstairs. We ended up eating pop-tarts and watching a Netflix show The whole time I was mustering the courage to tell him that I really liked him because I really felt that I wanted to be honest with him Instead of just lying to him and the whole reason why I even got into the Bible study group was to be with him Or at least spend time with him. So finally I just blurted it out I said I like you and I like you like a lot. He just stares at me blankly He doesn't know what to say and I could tell that he was kind of nervous. So I said do you like me too? He said yes, you know that I do and then we started making out this was the first time I'd ever been kissed, and it was the first time I'd ever had a boy in my room by myself. I kept thinking my mom could come home at any moment, so I told him that he should go home. Suddenly, we're on my bed, and we're doing things that I'd never done before. Suddenly, my door swings open, and guess who it is? My mom swings the door open, and she sees us on my bed doing stuff. Of course, I'm mortified. I'm super embarrassed. I'm also embarrassed because I know how she's going to react in front of him. My mom, of course, just starts yelling her head off. Then we walk over to his house. She proceeds to tell his mom what we did. And then five minutes later, my dad walks into their house. I was really afraid of my dad. So now we're in their kitchen and his parents and my parents are just staring us down and telling us that what we did was completely wrong. Then my dad starts saying that we need to get married. I can tell Curtis is freaking out. Of course, I'm freaking out too. His parents actually agree that we should get married. Thankfully, my mom was completely against it and she said, absolutely not, they're too young. I literally felt like I was dying. I was obviously grounded for months, couldn't go anywhere, I couldn't do anything, and I obviously didn't speak to Curtis again. Then my mom tells me that Curtis and his family actually moved away. My heart was completely broken. A few years later in college, I contacted him through Facebook. We met up and we've been together ever since. I knew that our connection back then was super strong and it is now.